estimated doctors, welcome to the webinar, Clinical Innovation in the Treatment of Joint, Musculoskeletal and Myofascial Conditions. <clears throat> this webinar is dedicated to all the physicians who in their daily practice cure the different pathologies, acute, subacute, chronic, of the different anatomical districts of the arthromyofascial apparatus. They are orthopedics, doctors of uh, rehabilitation, medicine, sport medicine, but also and not least the general practitioners who have from 30 to 40 percent of their patients suffering from pain and the 60 percent of uh, this kind of patients, this category of patients, over 65 years old. I have devoted uh, my medical profession, it's a long profession now, since uh, 1980, so it's 40 years. I have devoted this, my medical profession, to the local therapy of pain due to the musculoskeletal apparatus with different techniques, but the collagen medical device injection from 2010 has been much more effective less costly and long-lasting effect than any other technique I used in the past. Moreover, the medical device demonstrates to be safe. So I will begin my presentation giving you some hints about what is collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein, structural tissue, having molecular weight of 300 kilodaltons in mammalian organisms, accounting for about 5-6% of an adult body weight. That is to say that in a man of 70, normal man of 70 kilos, 4 kilos are collagen. One third or one fourth of the all protein mass of higher animals is composed by collagen. Bones, tendons, joint capsules, muscles, ligaments, fascias, serous membrane, teeth, skin, and the extracellular matrix are mainly composed by collagen. In humans, Collagen biosynthesis peaks between 40 and 60 years of age. It is called the collagen plateau. But collagen diminishes rapidly in the sixth de decade of life, together with the synthesis of elastin and the matrix proteoglycans. Practically, the total collagen pool is halved between 60 and 80 years of age. So, in a man of 70, 75 years, for instance, the total amount of collagen passes from the 4 kilos I have spoken before to 2 kilos. It means just the half weight of collagen. And this gives reason about sarcopenia in the muscles and the different extra articular joint pathologies. And here we have the curve. The blue one is the proteoglycans. You can see how the proteoglycans, starting from the very beginning of life, the newborn baby reaches a peak at 10 months of age, 10 months of age, not years, months, then decreases. Practically a baby is composed mainly of proteoglycans, the extracellular matrix, of course. In the uh, red line, red curve, you will see the elastin. Elastin reaches a peak at 15 years of age, then decreases, but collagen continuously going, uh, is going up from the beginning of our life, stabilizes 
from 45 to 60 years of age, then there is a decrease. Practically, starting from 65, we have the decrease of collagen, proteoglycans, and elastin, and this gives the reason why in this uh, range of age, we have uh, mostly the uh, osteoarthromyofascial pain and problems. But why it happens? What is the reason why there is this collagen decrease above all? This reduction is governed by the late expression age-dependent genes that encode from collagenase. Practically, they are called MMPS, that is to say matrix metalloproteinases, that prevail on the TIMPs, that are the tissue inhibitors of metalloproteinases. Practically, we have the MMPs that are much more abundant than the TIMPs. That's why collagen decreases, destroys, and arrives to be the half of the ratio that it has to have. The, the TIMPs, that is to say the tissue inhibitors of metalloproteinases and uh, other um, proteinases like the disintegrin metalloproteinases have an anti-apoptotic function and are encoded by allocated genes on the X chromosome. This likely partly explains the greater longevity of female who have double X, XX allosomes versus male. Adrenocorticotrop hormone ACTH it interleukin 10 and interleukin 6 stimulate the TIMP1 through the inhibition of the metalloproteinases. I remember you that interleukin 10 and interleukin 6 are the so-called um, anti-inflammatory cytokines. We shall see this topic later. And this is a nice uh, picture who shows you the molecule of collagen, we shall speak uh, two minutes uh, what it is, how it is done, and so on. And you, you will see easily how the balance, the weight scale, uh, is maintained in the right order when the TIMPs and the MMPs are in the right proportion. But both of them, the TEMPs, which are in, um, inhibit, in, in inhibiting the MMPs which destroy the collagens and the MMPs have some helpers. For instance, the, AM, the MMPs of course has, have as helper the anti, the pro-inflammatory cytokines, that is to say interleukin 1, interleukin 6, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and uh, ROS, the reactive uh, oxygen species. On the other side of the, of the weight scale, we have interleukin 4, interleukin 10, interleukin 6. You see that 6 is both in the uh, right uh, uh, plate than in the left plate because Interleukin-6 can act as pro-inflammatory or can act even as an anti-inflammatory cytokines and tumor necrosis factor beta. But I want to underline that the pro-inflammatory cytokines, the red one on, the, on your uh, right, interleukin-1, 6, uh, ROS, and the tumor necrosis factor alpha, are those that uh, have a great peak in what it is nowadays called systemic chronic inflammation. So, due to many factors, diabetes type 2, for instance, arteriosclerosis, Alzheimer, and so on, even the collagen suffers a lot. If you just imagine how many people suffer of uh, obesity, suffer from diabetes type 2, 
and uh, uh, osteoarthro myofascial uh, pain joints, you can easily understand how the two things, well, uh, they go well together. The synthesis of mature collagen involves is very long, but extremely um, simple because it's long as a, as a time consuming, but simple in the same way as they are the same uh, bricks which make this great, big, I would say mega molecule as collagen is. So in, uh, the synthesis of mature collagen involves seven intra and extra cellular steps from the so-called pre-collagen, two steps, to pro-collagen, three steps, to tropocollagen, one step, to collagen, one step. Collagen is made inside the, fi the fi fibroblast, but not complete because it is a too long molecule to be mounted inside one single fibroblast. So it has to be mounted outside the cell in a way that it is easy, disposable for the tissues which need collagen. Two words about the father of collagen. This is Naya Narayana Ramachandrang. When he was young, he became, he was the a good uh, student uh, at Indian, Indian student in Oxford. And then when he was uh, more mature, the, the three books you see are the three wonderful books on collagen that Professor Ramachandrang, who was a biophysic, uh, wrote. And this is the so-called Madras group because collagen was born in Madras, India. There are 20 researchers, most of them very young. In the middle you see uh, Professor Ramachandrang when he was young, some assistants uh, even. And uh, these 20 young, uh, I would say more than boys, young men, studied for many years uh, what is collagen, why it is done in this way and what was the reason. So if we know many things about this great molecule, three-dimensional molecule, we have to thank this Madras group. I remember you that Madras is the old name of what today is Chennai in India. And this is the small house where collagen was born. On your left, you see the first photograph of collagen. How is, how is made collagen? How is made? How can this mega molecule can stand up, can stay in the space? And this photograph is the first one taken from the top, uh, showing uh, the different bands and the very first uh, uh, ideas about uh, uh, the uh, possible uh, three-dimensional structure of collagen. I say possible simply because it was not easy. It took more than 15 years for understanding what we know now. And what we know now is that uh, the ultrastructure of the collagen, that uh, collagen, this is a native collagen fiber type, uh, type 1. So it, you see that you see many bands. This is a tropocollagen fiber. Uh, you see many bands uh, with dark lines uh, between uh, white, whitish lines. We shall see why it is formed in this, uh, I would say, zebra-like uh, um, um, uh, figure. It is just like a metameric structure. We know now that from one band black band to another one, another band is not 64 nanometers, but it is 67 nanometers. It is not just a curiosity because this was a work for more than three years because for understanding how ca can the, mole uh, the collagen molecule stand up, 
it has to be exactly uh, 700, uh, 670 Armstrong, that is to say 67 nanometers. In the black box, uh, you see an enlargement of the uh, transmission electron microscope, 150,000 uh, uh, times. So it is an extremely, extremely high resolution. And uh, you see the fibers, how they are well uh, parallel, how they are well made. Those are native collagen fibers, that is to say normal collagen fibers. And they are um, without any cross-linking. But here we have what happens simply in a medial collateral ligament. It is just a medial collateral ligament of the knee. You see at the top on the left, the normal. You note how they are very, very well aligned. They are parallel, not cross-linked, and they have a uh, quiet disposition in the space. If we just give a look on, uh, on our right, we see the fork fusion of collagen fibrils. You see how many fibrils they tend to fork. And in this way, the tensile forces are not good enough for giving to a tendon, for instance, or a, a fascia, for instance, the right flexibility and the right force. The, on the on bottom, on the left, you will see a wound healing process. It's just a wound healing. You know how the disposition of collagen is completely disrupted. Uh, many bundles forms, many groups forms. They lose all the verticality. They lose all the parallelism. And this is just what happens in a wound healing process. So it is not a restitutio ad integrum because uh, it is just a repair, cannot be uh, a restitutio ad integrum. It is just a repair, and it is repair like, uh, like uh, cement uh, uh, to try to stop a hole in a, in a wall instead of putting the bricks. The other, uh, the other uh, microstructural damage is uh, produced by overload. I am talking always about the medial collateral ligament. You see that even low overload, certain sports, certain uh, activities, especially soccer, especially judo, especially karate, especially uh, artistic dancing, where they have to twist the knee several times, they suffer from the medial and lateral, in this case the medial ligament, and you see what it is exactly the uh, ultrastructural. Without these photos, we cannot understand why collagen is so important for a normal, a normal um, behavior of the muscular uh, osteoarthro osteoarthro mus myofascial muscular apparatus or system, if you want. The great curiosity is that this mega molecule is formed by triplets, that is to say three amino acids that joint with other three amino acids that joint without other three amino acids and so, 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 so for a very long period of uh, times. But the curiosity is that this triplet are made only by four amino acids. So we, we know now that amino acids are more than 20, 25, according to different authors. But only four enter in the collagen formation. And these are mainly glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. That is to say that even the last one, the hydroxyproline, is just like the first one, the glycine, with a, a, a hydroxylide group, OH, in the fourth position. So, complicated, yes, 
but simple, yes. Here you see, the, like, the complication do not arrive by a, a um, complication of uh, different uh, situations, but just positioning uh, the same thing in the case and put together to form a greater thing. In this case, I have selected, you see, on the, on the right uh, um, up, it is a section of the Achilles tendon. It's formed by three bundles, the same that you see on the right of the slide. But they are done exactly like uh, um, the small first one in green you see on your left, which is tropocollagen. Then tropocollagen makes uh, microfibrils. Many microfibrils makes some subfibrils, then fibrils, bundle, and then finally the tendon. The other strange thing is that uh, the, uh, these triplets begin always with the same amino acid that it is glycine. Point number one, every triplet of amino acids always starts with gly glycine. So we can have glycine A, B, that they are the other two, or glycine AA, or glycine BB, or glycine BA, but always becomes clear that each triplet begins always with the same amino acids. The other strange thing is that these triplets cannot usually be found in other proteins. So they are very special because of the many, I would say, thousands of, of, uh, of uh, um, uh, ten of thousands of proteins that we have in our kind of proteins that we have in our body, the triplet gly glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, is represented only in collagen. And this, uh, there is, uh, uh, this gives a reason because this uh, configuration of these triplets that go from the very north to the very south of the collagen fibers give to the molecule special characteristics. The special characteristic, you will see them in bold, uh, in bold uh, mm, letters, are strength and rigidity, but even resistance and flexibility. Imagine that uh, to break one millimeter diameter collagen fiber, we need a weight of 11 kilos put at it each end. It means that these microscopic fibers put together to form a fibril of simply one millimeter can be broken if we apply 10 kilos weight. It means that strength, rigidity, resistance and flexibility and those characteristics are due to the special configuration in space of this triplet of amino acids that which are more or less are the same. Only four enter in the formation of collagen. And here we have the three-dimensional, the so-called the triple helix, uh, three alpha chains of tropocollagen that is the basic unit of mature collagen. Uh, I have also put uh, a curious uh, photo of a cellular cord because even the cellular cord, cord have, uh, have to have the same characteristic of collagen and they are done by a triple helix in this case of cord. So three, two do not produce the same, one not at all, four no, three is the best for making this long triple helix. Uh, here you see Mm, I, can, I come back to some uh, slides before. The bands, the different bands uh, in two, number two, uh, I said black bands and uh, 
uh, wide bands, and this happens because uh, practically each fibril has to slip of one fourth on the other fibril, which is uh, under, and the same happens for the under, for the under again, and after four slips, they become to be as they in beginning. And when they are in the same position, you see the black bands. When they are lifted, one in front of the uh, one with the others, you can see the white uh, single bands. So the characteristic of this mega molecule, uh, which uh, Professor Ramachandrang wrote in one of his papers, a charismatic molecule, is resistance not extensibility, not compressibility, but also plasticity, flexibility, load resistance, torsion resistance. And this gives to the collagen its extraordinary possibility. Last but not least, uh, collagen in also, also is an antioxidant, as it is demonstrated in vitro. Those are beautiful uh, works uh, produced by Aleman and colleagues and Nachman and colleagues very recently, just four years ago. And uh, now we begin to put uh, all these mm, brief knowledges to the extra-articular compartment. An extra-articular compartment is uh, formed uh, one by the synovial membranes, two articular capsule, three extra articular ligaments, and four muscle tendon. So the importance of the extra, the import, I do repeat, the importance of the extra articular, extra joint compartment in the joint stability. Because only knee has intra articular um, ligaments. Only hip has an intra-articular ligament. In some cases, some cases, not all, especially in some races, shoulder has an intra-articular. But all the other articulations in our body, starting from the temporomandibular to the foot, to the, to the radiocarpal, to the elbow, they do not have intra-articular ligaments. So, are the extra articular compartments that put together and makes an axial uh, line or not necessarily axial or not necessarily coaxial due to the different lines, knee for instance, uh, elbow for instance, that uh, do not follow the same line of the upper part. And now, a new substantial and refined approach to the painful dysfunctional pathologies of the musculoskeletal system and of the, uh, the related motor function is offered by the medical devices produced here in Italy for use in clinical practice and in uh, specialties, uh, specialist facilities. The 13 GUNA medical device contain collagen, all contain collagen, all the same quantity, plus an ancillary substances of natural origin. And this ancillary substance of natural origin is different from one collagen medical device to another. So the difference between one and the other one, one and the other 13, is due, is given by uh, the ancillary substance. The so-called ancillary substances allow a more effective and uh, specific uh, placement of collagen and have the function of conveying and uh, stabilization. This uh, was the first uh, uh, slide. Collagen medical devices are present uh, since uh, 2010, so it's already 10 years. And here we have the synopsis of the first injectable GUNA medical devices. The name is very easy because they take the name 
from the anatomical part uh, that we want to cure. Of those 13, we can say that uh, nine are specific for the articulation. So we will have a medical device neck, thoracic, lumbar, shoulder, hip, knee, small joints, poly, ischial, and those are specific for the main uh, anatomical uh, joints. But uh, uh, also there are uh, medical device, other four, medical device muscle, neural, matrix and tissue, then can be used alone or can be used in combination with the other nine uh, before said, and we, sh we shall see, and you can ask uh, uh, all your questions you want. Another interesting, uh, important thing to be remembered is that uh, uh, GUNA MDs can be used by themselves, practica practically one vial, or along with different associations, up to two, even three ampules per medical device, according to the specific need of the patient. For, ex for example, medical device neck plus medical device muscle, or medical device neck plus medical device muscle, plus medical device, uh, for instance, neural, because a problem of uh, the cervical spine does not involve only the bones, but even the muscles, even the tendons, even the fascias. So a neck problem is not a cervical problem, it's a neck problem. That is to say that even the other parts that go together and make the, uh, the anatomical part are interesting for diagnose and for the cure, of course. And now I want to present you one uh, interesting uh, work, very recent. This work has been performed in the Department of the Temporomandibular Disorders, Medical University of Slesia, Katowice, Poland. It has been uh, done by Dr. Niceta Bukta and other, and other uh, um, three uh, clinicians. It, it, they, uh, this work has been, this paper has been published on pain research and management, which is a very good uh, uh, medical review with a, a very high impact factor, peer reviewed of course, and much known. And uh, it is the comparison between collagen and lidocaine intramuscular injections in terms of their efficacy in decreasing myofascial pain within the masseter muscles, a randomized single blind control tried. The purpose of the study was to analyze which was the best medical device muscle in the trigger points of the uh, masseter muscle due to a temporomandibular joint TMJ dysfunction or lidocaine which uh, is uh, very much used uh, for this kind of uh, conditions. So the participants were uh, 50 participants from a group of 102 patients and uh, uh, this uh, underlines the fact that all these patients were chronic because uh, these um, trigger points in the masseter monolateral or bilateral that, you know, this TMJ problem, temporomandibular joint problem is very painful because people cannot eat, people cannot speak, people cannot uh, even uh, sleep in the night uh, because uh, the trigger points uh, in the masseter muscles are very, uh, are very deep and very, and very, and very hard to, to shot and to kill. These patients were suffering from, uh, they were chronic, Average 8.5 months were identifi identified and included in the study. So there were 50 patients with temporomandibular joint due to trigger point uh, um, in the muscle, in the trigger, in the masseter muscle, 
who were suffering from long time. They were uh, divided from 50, they arrived to be 43, because seven refused to take part in the study. So these 43 patients were divided into three groups, group one, group two, and group three. Group one with collagen medical device, 50 patients. Group two, it was a control group with lidocaine, 2%, and other 13 patients. And group three was a simply a neutral control group with a sterile saline solution. You can see that the groups are very homogeneous in number, in age, and had, of course, the same grade of pathology. Uh, the study has been evaluated with the VAS, the, vascular, the visual analogic scale, and uh, with electromyography. In red, uh, you see the three groups. First group, red, green, and blue. Second group, red, green, and blue. Third group, the same colors. So the red is the baseline of the group treated with the, the, the first red is the baseline from the group uh, treated with medical device. You see that uh, they had the same VAS because the red lines, the three red lines of the three groups uh, have reached uh, uh, VAS 8, which is uh, I. But you can see that in the very, very, very first follow-up, follow-up was uh, after seven days and after 14 days in the group medical device, at seven days from eight, it arrives to be four and a half. See the green, the first green on the left. And arrived in, at 14 days to be three and 3.8. If we analyze the other two groups, we see that we don't have this dramatic decrease in VAS, that means pain, visual analogic scale on uh, 0, 100. In this case, not 0, 10, but 0, 100. But it decreases as the other do not do. The same happens if uh, we, understand, we choose the electromyographic uh, superficial changes. You see in the, first, the first group, that is to say the medical device group, the electromyography after 14 days of study practically is reduced from uh, uh, 70% to 25%. It is a decrease of the 70% a percentage of the 70%. But this does not happen in the second group, lidocaine, and of course, this does not happen in the third group, uh, um, sterile solution. The conclusion of the authors is that uh, this study showed that intramuscular injection of uh, medical device muscle in the masseter muscle is more efficacious than the intramuscular injection of lidocaine, of course. Here uh, I present you just uh, some spots, five remarkable clinical papers on Guna Collagen medical devices. The first one I will not comment because Professor Randelli, my friend uh, Professor Randelli, will comment it. Uh, so I pass to number two. This is a wonderful work. This work has been published on BMC musculoskeletal disorders, very good, very peer-reviewed, high impact factor. Uh, it was a multi-cohort um, multi study, so a multi-center study. They have evaluated a double-blind, randomized, active control clinical trial on the intra-articular use of medical device knee versus sodium hyaluronate in patients with knee osteoarthritis. So, in this case, was the medical device knee versus uh, hyaluronate, uh, hyaluronic acid. Practically, the two at the end of the study, the two 
type of treatments were equally effective. It is to say that medical device knee in the treatment of knee osteoarthritis is as effective as sodium hyaluronate. Uh, hyaluronate. And this is a great, uh, they had no systemic adverse effect in both group, uh, no joint effusion. You can read all these uh, uh, papers uh, because uh, we shall give you uh, detailed information. You can read by yourself. Uh, I just wrote on uh, the left uh, part of the slide what uh, are the topics to be remembered. The other, the other study is uh, the ultrasound guided collagen injections in the treatment of the supraspinatus tendinopathy, a case is, uh, um, uh, pilot study. This was uh, also published in Advances in Musculoskeletal Disease, uh, Diseases and Infections. And uh, the results are that uh, for the supraspinatus tendinopathy, that is to say the frozen shoulder, uh, in this case was medical device shoulder, is uh, uh, as effective as the other kind of therapies or more effective, but especially much more less costly. Much more less costly. The other one uh, is, the, is a recent study. Uh, practically all were chronic cases. All were lateral epicondylitis treated by collagen injection. In this case was used uh, medical device uh, uh, tissue, and uh, the patients were suffering from six months, so were the chronic uh, patients, and practically they showed a total average of a reduction uh, of a pain of 57%. Uh, so the 60% of pain was uh, uh, taken off. And for function, at a, a one-month follow-up, uh, uh, the, re the reduction was the 62, uh, no, exactly was uh, the um, 63 percent in terms of function at the three months follow-up. So very good uh, result. The last one is a study. I also have been, uh, I participated uh, as a clinician in this study, was performed by Professor Pavelka and collaborators. The collaborators in this case uh, were uh, from Czech Republic and Italy. Uh, work published in 2019. And uh, in this case, uh, was the, the study was uh, um, designed on the efficacy and tolerability of injectable collagen containing products in comparison to trimecaine. Trimecaine is, is a local anesthetic like uh, lidocaine or novocaine. In, uh, specifically, trimecaine is lidocaine. In patients with acute lumbar spine pain. So this is a very frequent uh, low back pain treated, in this case, with uh, mm, a combination of three medical devices. They were, of course, uh, the medical device lumbar, because the cases were all low back pain, plus low medical device muscle, plus medical device neural. And the result uh, is, uh, is that uh, uh, both groups also showed statistically significant improvement in mobility and quality of life. On the other hand, consumption of paracetamol, because it was uh, um, given the possibility when they needed to uh, take paracetamol to the patient, the consumption of paracetamol as a rescue medication was significantly lower in the group treated with collagen medical device. Here is a list that you can download in, the, um, in our uh, website of uh, the 35, 36 now, different papers. Practically, I, I tell you that these papers uh, are focused on practically all the joints of the human body. There is uh, on the left uh, the 
the, the pathology, the title of the, of the article in the middle, and what kind of medical device have been used. This is the first page of the list, the second, and the third page. I will uh, finish my webinar with, uh, as well as I began, with collagen. To understand the form of collagen, that means that in nature the form makes the function. To arrive to achieve, to put this molecule in the way how it is present since the millennia in the living mammalian and not mammalian organism, many years of study have been performed. And uh, one artist made uh, glass and steel sculpture. He is uh, Julian Vas André in 2013. And this beautiful sculpture named Collagen, it is in the center of the campus of the Rodger University Center for Integrative uh, Proteomics Research, Piscataway, New Jersey, USA. For further information, that means the brochure for the old medical device, all published articles, I do repeat, all the published articles can be read online and download so you can print and have and study and control. The news and the media events are on the website collagenmd.guna.com. The last words, thank you so much for your kind attention. I hope because I do not see you, so I hope uh, that you have been attentive. And uh, I just want to finish a, in a souvenir. Next uh, November 16, it is already one year that the second international medical uh, congress on the medical device has been performed in Milano. There were more than 500 doctors coming from uh, 21 different countries in the world and they have been all satisfied and we shall publish very, I hope, uh, in two, maximum three months, the um, all the papers or the papers who have been sent to us to be published and to give you as a, a souvenir you could not see one year ago but nowadays we can see together in collagenmd.guna.com thank you so much for your beautiful presence <laughs>